hey welcome to my channel and uh, today uh, i will quickly solve two questions from carbon chemistry okay so first one is this compound this is given h new and uh, solvent is hydroxyl what will be the product so this diazo compound uh, they are given and uh, the solvent is cyclohexane and they applied light so what will be the product so in presence of light first uh, this will decompose to give you the carbene okay so you will get a carbene and a nitrogen will be nitrogen gas will be eliminated now uh, what can happen so you know uh, al uh, alcohols that is or group they have they have lone pair and thus they have a neighboring group participating ability so this lone pair can act as neighboring group okay but you see this is one two three four this is only four Four carb, four atom distance. That is, if it uh, do a neighboring group participation, it will be a four-membered ring. And to stabilize this negative charge, there will be double bond. That is what it has to do. Is it is like this? This O minus here it is O. Okay, sorry. Uh, it is like this. or and here you have a uh, c and you have o minus okay so as you can see there is a four member ring and in this ring also there will be a double bond so this will be a very strange situation so it cannot act as neighboring group in this case okay so this will not happen instead what can happen is that the cyclohexane uh, is solvent here and if you draw cyclohexane like this so it can undergo the insertion reaction here okay and you will get a product like this hydrogen and you have your cyclohexane here okay so solvent cyclohexane which is a very inert solvent will react in this case so carbenes are very reactive and they can react with inert solvent like cyclohexane also now uh, this problem is not very important but why i am uh, discussing this problem because the next problem which i am going to discuss is something to something related to this one okay and uh, the next problem is you have given this OBN there are two methyl groups there is a carbonyl group and again there is the azide okay so this is the azide compound and you have uh, they have given rhodium rhodium 2 OAC all 4 then uh, CH2 Cl2 so what will be the product and this question is from uh, CSIR net uh, 2015 December okay so they give different different options and you have to predict which will be the product so the first step will be similar to the question I have just discussed that is this nitrogen will be eliminated and you will get this carbon okay now see if this oxygen lone pair can participate as neighboring group there will be a five member ring and five member rings are excellent to form okay so it can form a ring like this so you have your uh, OBN group here, the PN group I uh, opened 
for the uh, PA, uh, yes, the PN group will be like this, the PHCH2, and here will be a formal positive charge. Okay, here is two methyl group. Now see, this is this is enolate. Okay, so this enolate can get alkylated, and there is an internal electrophile present. This one, this is the internal electrophile. This part is the internal electrophile because there is O minus O plus, so it is a good leading group. And you can get the following product. So, sorry, there will be pH. This is pH. You have your uh, two methyl groups and your double bond. Now, this group is uh, nothing but OBN group, benzyl group. So, you can write BN here, or you can just write pH also. So, in, uh, what is the option given in the question that you have to look into okay so this is how you have to solve the question so this is a very good question and you should know that uh, these two concepts that this oxygen lone pair can participate here and after participating this is the internal nucleophile part and uh, internal electrophile part this is a nucleophilic center uh, the enolate and this is a internal nucleophile okay so it can attack here or uh, i sub i uh, it is also, it may be the case that uh, this, this is not attacking the uh, same, this is, this, this reaction can, uh, can be intermolecular also, okay. So, what I am trying to say is that instead of attacking the same, same molecule of itself, it can attack the other, like you have another uh, molecules which will be present, sorry. Uh, so what I am trying to say is that this is O minus right and you have another molecules which are present in this form so it can attack on them also so this molecule can be inter intermolecular as well as intramolecular now what is the possibility of uh, the two that is uh, either it will be intermolecular or intramolecular i cannot say because then you have to do the computational study that's for that what is the possibility of approaching it to its uh, sigma star orbital okay because it is sn2 attack on the sigma star orbital and it has to reach on the back side of the um, oc bond okay so i think uh, it is difficult here to uh, approach on that sigma star orbital because the bond angle is not suitable so it may be that the reaction is actually intermolecular and not intramolecular that is one molecule is attacking on the other molecule but nevertheless the outcome is same and you have to say the outcome that is what will be the product and this will be the product in this case so this is a very good question from CSIR exam and hope you enjoy the video so if you like the video then subscribe my channel for getting more videos like that and thank you for watching.